at the press conference that uh, happened uh, just a short while ago where the nominees for the Sports Star of the Year Awards were announced, uh, South African Sports Star of the Year Award. I'm sure there's much excitement there, particularly amongst the nominees. Ayanda, uh, give us an update. What's happening there? Well, a very good morning to you once again, Leanne. A lot of excitement, great anticipation. I'm with some of the nominees now, so I better start making friends with them soon just in case they win and I'll be that long-lost cousin who crawls out of the woodworks and tries to share the spoils with them. We heard Minister Figel and Balula just uh, announcing some of the prizes that they stand to win and handsome reward indeed for those who are nominated. I'm now with uh, someone who's nominated in the category of Photographer of the Year. Mr. Velintlapo joins us now from the Soweto. And a very good morning to you, sir. Thank Thank you so much for joining us. Morning. I laughed because you said to me two questions only. You're not used to being this side of the camera. You're always on the other side of the lens. But how do you feel about being nominated? I'm feeling very happy to be nominated as a photographer of the year. Now, this is not your, your, your first award. I asked you how many times you've been awarded and you couldn't count in one hand. So it means you're very good at what you do. But what exactly does it entail to be a photographer in the sporting world? Uh, to to be a photographer is, is, is very nice, you know, and then it's very exciting. Uh, I wish all the uh, uh, young kids, they can take this profession. So now, do you go to the games? Because, you know, I think that's the perks. And I'm sure everybody about phone uh, but it's more than just watching the game. You have to look for those angles. Uh, how does that work? Uh, you know, you must, you must have an eye for action and must do all the sports, uh, athletics, soccer, rugby, uh, netball, uh, basketball. Zonke Boink. Zonke. Thank you so much for that. And we're holding thumbs for you. Congratulations for being nominated. I believe you also get something just for the nominated nomination, I should say. Everybody's a winner. Thank you so much, Mr. Ntlapa, for that. And he was very strict in his orders, saying that just make sure you don't ask me too many questions because I'm a photographer. I take pictures. <laughs> I don't do interviews. But yeah, there are quite a number of people that we're going to be speaking today uh, with. Now, you'll know this next gentleman because he was making headlines all over the country, dare I say, the world at large, Mr. Wade Fanick. Congratulations to you for being nominated. How many times are you nominated this time around? Twice, I think? I think it's about tw twice, yeah. Can you remember the categories? Um, Sportsman of the Year and People's Choice. And how does that make you feel? Well, it's definitely a real honor to be, it's just really a blessing and a bonus for me within showing me that um, all my hard work is starting to pay off and obviously being nominated with such great names and being being in uh, put in the same category as such amazing people um i mean I, i've seen them as inspiration not competition so i've, I've been using the them um showing how how to, uh, using the example and and trying to do the same with myself as an athlete you know, a lot of people think if you're a professional sportsman, you're just uh, lazing around, maybe a beach bum every now and again, that it's not your regular nine to five, and therefore it's not a, a lot of hard work. Uh, but I'm sure you'd beg to differ? Well, um, I definitely put like about, about two sessions a day, sometimes three sessions a day. So there's a lot of hard work that, that, that's in, in what we do. But obviously we do have quite a lot of free time when it comes to off season. And so, and I try and take my, my, my lazy time as best as possible. And yeah. So how do you become the best other than working hard? I'm sure talent comes in, but, but mental capacity as well. Well, I'm really a firm believer in the Lord. I'm really grateful for, for the talent that he's blessed me with and as an athlete and as a person. And to me, this is just my way of saying thank you so much for blessing me with this, with this opportunity and with this talent. And I'm going to try and, 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 and use it as, as, as best as I can. Thank you so much for that. And I'm going to speak to someone who is, as Wade said, not competition, but inspiration in his category. I'm taking down notes of quite a lot of quotes coming out, hashtags there. You heard Mr. Ntlapo saying that he had to have an eye for action, so hashtag that, and also inspiration instead of competition, hashtag that. I'm joined by Mr. Greg Minna. Greg, I understand that you're a cyclist, mountain biking to be exact. Sounds extremely dangerous. Talk to us about that. Well, it can be. If you come off anything, you're going to get hurt. So, yeah, I race mountain bike downhill, so it's a little bit more extreme than, than most mountain biking. But, you know, it is, you know, off-road. So when you do crash, it's not as bad as those Tour de France guys. Oh, my goodness. When you do crash. So it's not a matter of if, but when. Uh, how did you get into the sport? Um, 
Yeah, I got, my sister actually started riding mountain bikes and my parents had got into, involved in a bike shop and uh, I was racing a lot of motocross when I was young and made the switch and transition into mountain biking. And then I decided I wanted to go overseas and race and learn to race with the best in the world and give it a go. And, uh, and I hear you've been kicking butt and taking down names overseas as well. I have. It's been, it's been some years now. You know, I, started, I turned pro in 2000, 2001, so I've been racing quite a long time. I'm a bit of a veteran on the tour now, but this last season's been great, you know, and, and to, to end off the season the way I did, I, it, was, it was really a great year. And how does it feel to be recognized and acknowledged at home as one of the nominees? Yeah, it, it, you know, to, to be in line with all these guys in mainstream sports, we don't really get the coverage here in mountain biking or the acknowledgements in, in other sports. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honor to be involved in, in such a great event. Thank you so much, Greg. Let's leave it there, at least for now. Just some of the nominees for this year's 10th, may I say, SA Sport Awards. And uh, I'm going to have to hand you back to Mpo now while I quickly just say hi to them and try and make connections that I'm that relative that deserves 10% of the winnings. Mpo, it's back to you. Thank you very much, Ayanda. I must say, uh, when it comes to... Africans, when you're sad, you sing. When you're happy, you sing. So we can't have done everything here today and not left you with a song. But before we get to the song, I have to introduce the people here on stage with me. Of course, the gentleman on my right, on my far right, needs no introduction. He is, of course, Oskido. The, uh, the beautiful lady here is Busiswa. And this gentleman on my left is Maporisa, as well as DJ Bucks on the extreme left, otherwise known as Mpo and the gang. They say I must join them when it comes to singing, but I won't. Today, I'm just going to leave everything in their capable hands. But before we get there, Oskido, this song is the theme of the 10th annual SA Sports Awards. Is in Jazza game the best? How did you come up with this song? Oh, well, we were briefed, you know, by the department. They gave us a brief. But obviously, you know, after hours, I always spend my time with Razmataz, at times writing songs. So Razmataz came up uh, with also the idea, which, you know, my Oskido, see, Abona isn't just a game, but we need to keep it straight, do you understand, so that people understand. So therefore, yeah, I wrote a line, yeah, and it was supposed to uh, be part of this, uh, this song, but <laughs> yeah, to go to the Rugby World Cup. And anyway, it's fine. It's on. We've credited you, Minister. <laughs> Maybe on the 22nd of November, we'll be expecting you on stage, Minister. <laughs> uh, you, saw, you saw him this, uh, this weekend rocking the 20,000 crowd at Kaspar Of course. The Minister is a rocker. <laughs> On that note, I'll leave you in the capable, ga uh, capable hands of Izzy Njazek game the best. Hey. One, two. Check it out. Yeah, one, two. Oh. Dallas Kuka, Dallas Kuka, is he just the game the best? Come on, uh. the best, the best, the best. Is he just the game the best? Come on, uh. here we go. Dallas Kuka, Dallas Kuka, is he just the game the best? The best, the best. Is he just the game the best? moment sweating as you own it dead second from the finish let's get it yes we got big quick to come up with cushion bees and then last them nine now go claim your place in history all we preserve in the nation with nothing but passion love and dedication with the 10 years of excellence parting you know together forever we rocking
love and dedication Ah, uh, with the ten years of excellence Martin uh, Ah, uh, you know together forever we rocking uh, Ah, uh, all we miss up in the nation Ah, uh, with nothing but passion, love and dedication Ah, uh, with the ten years of excellence Martin uh, Ah, uh, you know together forever we rocking uh, There you go, the theme song for the South African Sports Awards that are coming up, the event on the 22nd of November. It will be broadcast live here on SABC.